So in atheist in Twitter, news. atheist YouTube world, what what have you? There is currently a battle going on that rivals what you saw in South Park with the the, the atheist alliances fighting each other. There was the Richard Dawkins. Oh episode, yeah, yeah, the Dawkins where episode, like, where you had the sea otters fighting the other people that went with the different. To me, it just reeks <laughs> a lot of the uh, life of Brian, people's front of Judea versus Judeans, people's front, people's front. fucking splitters. You know yeah. that that whole thing. Wolf nipple chips. <sighs> But anyway, it's it's well earned right now is that Atheist Alliance International, one of the largest or larger atheist organizations in the world with about 200,000 fans on Facebook, and they have a special consultative status with the United Nations. They're a, a big group. But the gist uh, is of it is that the group's executive director by the name of Michael Sherlock had one, had called one critic a cunt. And she mm-hmm. she's not uh, shy about sharing another. She's like, I don't give a fuck if he calls me a cunt. It was a uh, Casey, uh, John's John's wife from uh, Casey Gleason, God, yeah, God, Godless Engineer. Yeah, nice lady, really fucking nice e- lady, extremely. Oh, she's extremely. awesome, extremely. And John's one of the more level headed guys you could possibly talk to about the topic of yep. religion. He yeah. he won't hold back. Is the problem that a lot of people have is that he's, he'll right. attack dog you, but. It has nothing to do with him in this case. It's just KC is one one of the fucking nicest people I've ever in, I've ever worked with on Twitter at all. But anyway, called her a cunt because uh, she deigned to go after him for using the word retarded <laughs> when talking about something in particular. So uh, I'm trying to remember the exact um, quoting that happened. What was it? Uh, he called like um shit what was it it was a tweet saying that people that follow religion are retarded or something like that or religion is, lines, religion yeah. is something, retarded or yeah, something like some that so, bullshit, sorry for using the word guys thing. i don't mean yeah. to use it but it's just something that they said you're you're, you're quoting you're, you're somebody quoting. yeah but even then sometimes i'm not i try not still. to use it yeah no, we we get it and the word is but. not cool no matter what no, it's a terrible fucking word. And the point is, is like everybody called him out on this just like we would saying, bro, that's fucking ableist. Why are you using that terminology? Mm-hmm. Like you can use the word retard when you're using it as the French definition of slow something down, you know. Mm-hmm. But then again, if you can say slow down, why wouldn't you just say that instead of trying to be la edgy atheist? And, <laughs> <La edgy. laughs> and just being an asshole about the whole thing like we've yeah, all which is what he was exactly doing what they were doing he yeah. was and he was being a complete asshole about the whole thing and someone called him out on it and he came back and called her a cunt and it's just like yeah yeah because that was necessary down yeah so Freaking dick atheist alliance international posted their own statement online that says that the board had suspended sherlock for a month without pay uh, he was also reminded that damaging the group's reputation could lead to being fired without advance notice. So, uh, Hemet says that's a start. Interesting that as of writing this, they posted it on Twitter, where they have significantly fewer followers than not on Facebook, which is their primary way to communicate with their supporters. Mm-hmm. But anyway, um, just to let you know that this is affecting their bottom line, is that they were trying to set this up with the they were trying to set up an affiliation in Australia with the Atheist Foundation of Australia. Has yeah, uh, pulled out of joining them due to yeah. Sherlock's mm-hmm. statements. So they had no, nothing. To, they wanted nothing to do with those guys. And so it, it's it's interesting to me that these guys are doubling down on this whole thing, saying, "No, no, 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 no." He didn't use that word as an ableist slur. He used it as a, you know, meaning to slow things down or yeah, that doesn't work. Shit. It's not a yeah. singular incident, according to him. In here, it's like he's just a bad nope. representative for the organization. Yep. And as as far as using the word quote unquote retarded here, AAI doesn't care about that one at all. Our, the committee found that Michael used the word without intending any disrespect or offense to anyone. But he Motherfucker, did. Motherfucker, the only reason you use that word is to offend somebody. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> yep. And he did. So, and people called him out and uh, now they're being shit on for it. Yeah. And that's the real fucked up thing here is like they made their own Pathios blog about this whole thing 
where they go over it, and I'm I'm clicking and giving some time to pad it as it brings it up here, uh, where they talk about the what is in a word like retarded is what it says here. So uh, an awful lot apparently, and so it goes into the <laughs> why they chose to use that word, and they go over the grammar of it. I'm a retired science oh, teacher. I remember there was sometimes a pupil in the class who had no interest in education, but was very interested in disruption. They would deliberately ruin a lesson. Uh, social media age, none of them hang around on Twitter like vampires ready to pounce on the first nit they can pick. Nothing pleases them more if they can trigger slash infuriate. You use trigger just to piss them too. Yeah. Uh, someone whom they have decided to demonize, whether a good reason or not. It's a juvenile interaction. And so he says you're using word fucking retarded is juvenile and to begin with. So yeah, don't even to, fucking go there to get to my subject. Take the word retarded. It is the past participle of the verb to retard, which means to slow down, delay or hold back. In other words, it is used in the context of time. Retarded is not a noun. You can't say a retarded, nor is it an adjective. Adjectives are more generally applicable, such as big, red, oh, and heavy. But you can combine the participle of a verb with a noun to make a compound expression. And so what he said is like, religion is a re retarded relic. That it doesn't work. And he says here, the meaning is obvious. It implies that religions are ancient doctrines that have been holding us back. Who's, who can deny that? Well, I no. don't deny that at all, but the way he, you, why you would people think it, it that way? It doesn't work in that context. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And so there's a whole, that's like two paragraphs out of like a seven right. paragraph thing. Right. There are other words he could have used. For there, that. there are other if, words he could have used to, to get the point, to get the point across that they're saying he tried to get it across. He would have had to have said that, uh, religion has is dragged a relic down. Down. Is society. Right. right. Yeah, exactly. You didn't need to use that word. No, no. And he you could say it holds us back, but yeah, it, it, he used it in the wrong context. And all she was trying to say is like, Hey, come on, man. You could have used something else to do this. Like, Bingo. atheists have enough of a battle as it is trying to win people's hearts and souls, you know, <laughs> metaphorically speaking here. Souls aren't real. Right. <laughs> we have a hard enough time trying to fight it, fight the image of us being edgy assholes. Hey, baby without being ears. edgy assholes. Without being edgy <laughs> assholes. Yeah. <sighs> so, and... There was somebody else that came out today. I didn't I didn't get the link for it. I didn't bring it into here. I just wanted to bring it up for a comparative discussion here is that somebody else had said, you know what? It's it's sad the way that you guys are attacking this guy because he has done so much good for the world by helping people out of Islam, you know, and like, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm glad that he has helped yep, people out. Yep. I'm yep. but that doesn't have. That doesn't negate when you do something wrong. It's like right. for here, and I'm going to wrap it around Utah because that's the best way I can do it here. The LDS church here in Utah, every time they're reminded about how much like they suck, they always go, yeah, but what about all that humanitarian work that we've done? You yeah, guys have schools that, that teach uh, to do that too. You guys have schools that teach that uh, gay people are bad and they should go through conversion therapy and everything. Yeah, yeah but we gave $20 million to be first responders at, at problems that have happened across the globe over the, last, over the last 20 years. $20 million over the last 20 years. Like a yeah. million out of the $5 billion they bring in every year. Fucking chump chain. Get the fuck out of here. So. Yeah, don't hurt yourself. <sighs> Might yeah, I make it, a suggestion is fuck AAI and start going for these guys, IAA, which is run by my very good friend, Courtney Hurd, also known as Godless Mom. And they're doing the same things, but they're much better at it than the other fucking idiots. I just, I don't understand how, when somebody says, hey, that might have been kind of a fuck up that you did there. Is there yeah. any, re any, any reason you might want to like, rehash your language or tell anybody that you're most people are concerned about especially when you're using the term atheist to describe a broad generalization of audience mm -hmm. out there they don't want to be lumped in with the shit lords you know when it comes to uh stuff like this you could have said he could have easily just said 
oh, I'm sorry if anybody took it that way. That's not the spirit in which it was intended. Right. Sorry, <laughs> we'll try to be yeah. more accurate in our language in the future. You know, something, Much even if it is just hand-waving it away, even if it is just right. going, yeah, fuck you, I'm gonna, I don't care about your beliefs or anything like that. That's fine, because most people would be like, okay, well, they're, whatever, it's, it's stupid language that they use, we can move on from here. No, he yeah. had to instead call her a cunt over the whole thing. It's of just course. like, right. and I've had people say, well, that's just an Australian endear term of endearment. I'm like, is he Australian though? I don't know. You know. I thought he was from England, but they also use the word cunt. They also too. use cunt as well, but at the same time, he's not using it as like, a, oh, don't be such a cunt, you know, about the whole thing. He was calling her that because it's a lady that dares to have an opinion opposite of what he thinks. Mm -hmm. So. Too bad, because Casey's fucking amazing. I she love her. She is amazing. And a wonderful lady. With, with bullshit like this, it's on, and on top of that, like they had the same shit with David Silverman last year where they hired him for a little while and they're like, oh, God, like a this month guy has later, problems. he's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When people have, people don't point out stuff on the internet a lot of the time. I'm not going to say all the time. A lot of the time, people don't point out problematic stuff without having decent enough reason, you know? Right. If someone said, hey, don't go on uh, X and Kyle's Utah Outcast show, you know, because uh, I've heard some stuff about them. <laughs> it's like, why did I paint myself? That's kind of weird. <laughs> I kind of like being a regular on the show, so. Well, and the thing is, like, I don't see what either one of us could have possibly have done to make it so nobody wants to come on here. <laughs> <laughs> Doing this shit so much fun all the time. So. Hey, Neil, sorry for that dick pic I sent you earlier today. <laughs> That's okay. I blew it up and framed it, and it's in the living room. If Everyone's if adoring it. If you didn't right, want you know. one, you shouldn't have asked. That's uh, just right? all um, I'm saying. You know. It's really your fault. Yeah, you, tried to zoom, you tried to zoom in on it, and the computer just kind of laughed at you. And it's just like, <laughs> enhance. It'd be like, enhance what? It looks like an acorn glued to the front of somebody. What are you? What do you want me to enhance here? We don't have those filters. <laughs> do you want sepia tone? Because that's all I can see is I mean, at least, it, at least it's an, ac at least it is an acorn. Not a From acorns grow mighty oaks, my friend. <laughs> that's just the glands. I'm, I'm not talking about anything else. <laughs> <laughs> There's no see, mighty oak growing out of there. See, why see that's this. why we do this here. So it's, it's just, yeah, don't listen to the fucking the court jesters over here when we're talking about this kind of thing. Come to your own decisions. Of course, read everything that we put into this. but. We wouldn't be talking about this if we didn't see a problem with the atheist community writ large, where there are a lot of people where they stop at the whole, I don't believe in God, therefore I am smarter than other people, you know? Which isn't the case. It's it's not the case. And you're not going to I, win people's hearts and minds, not souls, hearts and minds <laughs> by being a, just a complete asshole, you know? No. No, it's not how it works. It's Unless that's your that platform way. and that's how you do things. We joke about shit all the time on here, but we also try to be, you know, at least human to other people that have other beliefs than us. We, we've had right. religious folks on this show and they've had a good time ripping on other religious people because it's just at the same at the same time of them having their everyday I believe Christ kind of thing. They can also be like, what the fuck is Jim Baker saying? <laughs> that, that is not based anywhere in any religion that I believe in. Right, you know? exactly. I'm very good friends with many theists on Twitter and stuff like that, and we just don't talk about religion all that much. We'll talk about music, about art, we'll talk about TV shows that we like, right? And it can be done. Atheists mm -hmm. can be friends with theists, right? Basically. I've got very good friends that are theists. Friends so. with a handful of polytheists as well. It's like, oh, it's hell yeah. Like, it's almost like it doesn't matter what you believe in, but how that belief informs your day-to-day -day life, you know? Exactly. Exactly. And it's, it's apparent to me that your beliefs people, inform your actions and your actions have consequences. This guy can't own up to his own actions. He can't handle the consequences of what's being thrown at him because he believes himself to be at a level higher than other people in the atheist community. And it's like, Whatever. You're, you're in the fucking game. mud with the rest of us here. You you can't claim to have some sort it's, of moral high ground because you've helped it, other it's certain a common, people. It's a common problem. Mm -hmm. it, it's yeah. enough of a problem that, that 
we've talked about it. Jen has talked about it. Mm-hmm. I'm sure Neil, you've talked about it with some of the people oh, yeah, on your show where it's just like, once you get out of your angry phase, then you have to go into the community phase. You know, mm-hmm. once you're the angry atheist and you're done being the angry atheist, you're like, I need people. To talk Mine didn't to last me. long. The angry phase. Cause I think the route I took, you know, through polytheism, Wicca, all that shit. Yeah. I think I had that time to, um, Process. not really, yeah, <laughs> and not really be such a fucking angry asshole, mm-hmm. right? And for me, like me thinking letting go of Christianity was going, it meant I had to find something else to land upon on mm-hmm. my way out. Led me to looking into other non, you know, uh, non Christian religions, not like other denominations. But we I talked looking, about this on my show. Right? I, I looked yeah. at Islam. I even looked into Scientology for a little while. Yeah. yeah. You know? <laughs> Which because, shocked the shit out of me when you and told I, me that. And I way. looked into, I, I even read the Bhagavad Gita and the Sri <laughs> Isopranishad. You know, the, I looked yeah. into Hindu Vedic ways of thinking. You know, thinking to myself, somebody has to have the right answer to all of this. Nope. <laughs> and you come to find Not out that nobody does, man. You know, like it, it, oh. it boils down to the best quote that I saw from, like, from a, uh, uh, Rick and Morty, where Morty showed Summer the corpses of Rick and Morty that were buried in the backyard, mm-hmm. and he says, "Life sucks. You know, there's no <laughs> meaning to existence. So just come and sit and watch TV. You know, <laughs> or it's just well, like, you make your own meaning, right? Yeah. So, the best you can do. Uh, By just, the way, folks, I've had both X and Kyle and Felicia on my show. Yeah, I've I've it's done the, great, the it's a great time." Yeah, it was it was really fun, and uh, I've had the trifecta of the Utah Outcasts <laughs> on the show, so. and I've downloaded them, and I've meant to put them up on the channel again for every, on our channel, so people could watch the ones if they haven't found it on. Oh fuck channel. yeah! So go for it, man. I'm gonna mirror them here pretty soon. So awesome. But anyway, fuck off, AAI. I just <laughs> enough with those guys. They've if you they've had their chance. Yeah, other organizations stepping in. If you can't own up to your to a mistake, you don't deserve my. Then it was yeah my money. Yeah, if, so. if you double exactly. down, if you double down, it wasn't a mistake. It was Unless a mistake. it's KFC double down, like we we're talking. About. <laughs> yeah, so that's why my money goes to. Uh, <laughs> that's a mistake. That's why mine goes to no, American delicious. atheists because <laughs> AA has been pretty much the standard. They haven't changed much over the years. I give some money to recovering from religion. R- but, yeah, mm-hmm. RCR, yeah, RCR. But it, when you have your gold standard ones that exist out there, that's great. But th- at the same time, you have to realize, like like we were talking David Silverman, he used to be American Atheist spokesperson. And when the shit came out, they sacked him as quick as they could. Mm-hmm. Same thing. It, whether you believed he did something bad or not, you can't have the visage of impropriety. In the fact that he's people. even implicated in this is enough. That's, yeah. Right, especially when nobody's going to implicate you if you're innocent. Well, even if they do implicate you and you happen to be cleared of everything, well, I guess that's not necessarily true. Right. Just the potential of us being the godless people of the world, just the potential of your slight indiscretions, whether they be real or not, is enough to put a stain upon the entire group of. Exactly, because mm-hmm. someone's going to take it and run with it. All right, and that, that's exactly what fucking happened, and it's what continues to happen with every single one of these people out there. And so, I'm sure people are looking in from the outside to the infighting about this retarded thing, and they're looking into it and they're seeing, haha, the atheists are fighting each other once again. Let's keep in mind that we haven't like actually murdered anybody else over this whole thing like most of mm-hmm. you christians have when it comes to other people that believe in similar stuff like you know the whole crusade crusades thing that you guys did you know? right you guys have been you guys have been at the infighting a little bit longer you guys have oh, been infighting been... for a really long time and i mean oh, yeah. got... how many how many sects have been sects have been formed over infighting something like thirty thousand. the, the like big that. the big split was the protestant versus catholicism thing you know Mm-hmm. Then you have Eastern Orthodox, and you have Greek, Orthodox. and they're yeah. they're all killing each other because they've all got the correct path. So at the right. most, you'll have a handful of us shouting, "Hey, fuck <laughs> you, fuck you, buddy!" You know that whole thing mm-hmm. going on. <laughs> you sound like the Canadians Mark. from South Park. Hey, buddy, 
<laughs> I'm not your buddy guy. <laughs> not your buddy guy. Hey, I'm not guy, your buddy, friend. Your buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we have flip top heads? I never got that. Just I don't. I don't. Or square wheels on the cars. That fucking made me yeah. laugh so much. I. It's Trey Parker. Watch the royal pudding. Lazy. That's don't. all it was. <laughs> I know. Right? Watch the royal pudding episode. That's the best fucking. <laughs> Was that the one where they go to the five different territories and they try to? It was like the Wizard of Oz episode because I love that one. <laughs> no, no, no! It's by the tree in Edmonton where everyone met so they could rescue the princess, Canada, and the mushroom people this. from Nova Scotia. I'll have to watch this one. I don't remember that one. That, that's that's right, Shannon Q. The <laughs> mushroom people from Nova yeah, Scotia. From Nova Scotia. <laughs> you and your weird flag. I know. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's hilarious. Ugly Bob's in it. Um, of course, um, uh, <laughs> what's the, the little kid, the adopted kid? Ike. Ka- Ike. Ike? Yeah, Ike. Yeah. He's in it. He goes, he grabs his, his emergency Canadian kid out of the fucking closet and he's, he opens <laughs> it up. And of course, there's a recording, black and white recording. Come back to Canada. We got we to gotta rescue the princess because she's been abducted. <laughs> I just By remember. Scott. I just remembered that the the episode I was thinking of with the the whole Wizard of Oz thing mm-hmm. happened. And mm-hmm. The very end of it, you come to find out it's Saddam Hussein that was running everything, and that was a yeah. callback to the movie, of course. Yeah. And he come to find out he was still alive, and you're like, Jesus Christ! That that's the first time I had noticed that South Park had done the whole thing where they they read a news item from like a week ahead, week or so ahead, and they just made it into an episode because I was like. That shit came out yesterday that he was hiding out in that spider hole in the middle of like, yeah. holy shit. How did they do that so quickly? They're on no. the ball, man. Yeah, it's fucking amazing. But anyway, They're on the basketball. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's more of a Zucker movie. Yeah, I love I love yeah. that movie, but it's the same guys that did Airplane. So I, fair I'm enough. Big fan. Anyway, stop fucking infighting you. Lebs. <laughs> <laughs>